Something happened about four weeks ago in Sea Isle City that hasn't happened in 43 years. And community journalist Becca Hendrickson recounts the event, the blessed event. Just to thank them. It was supposed to be their last weekend away before baby number two came. Some quality time with three-year-old Briella before she became a big sister. On Monday, January 27th, the Galatos were in Sea Isle three weeks from their due date. She started having more pain, and then within a half an hour, she was telling me to call 911. The dad comes running out, said that he saw feet, so we know it was a little bit more serious than the normal uh, transport to the hospital. I dropped to my knees because I could tell the you know baby was you know having trouble. Within five minutes of police and EMTs arriving, Jeannie delivered a healthy baby girl named Luciana. Get supplies to cut umbilical cords and you know everything in a natural delivery. We did right there on the, the bedroom floor. The heroism of the moment aside, it's also a rare occurrence for Sea Isle. With no hospital in town, a baby hasn't been born there since 1977. Just an amazing job by the EMTs, the officers over there. So, the city honored both the family and first responders for helping make history. When the kids asked, like, where were you born at? Uh, you were born at Gigi and Granddad Shore House in Sea Isle. <laughs> Shore Memorial in Summers Point is the closest hospital to the Galatos home in Sea Isle. It's 20 minutes away. Baby Luciana has been here ever since she was born, but her parents say she'll get to come home any day now. I can't thank you guys enough for helping and saving Luciana and myself. They'll be a part of our life forever. In Sea Isle, Becca Hendrickson, Channel 6 Action News.